Good morning, good morning, good morning, chummy. Welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a good morning. Let's get doing it. Oh, you see that little thing there? I drilled a hole the other day and hit a nail, and a little piece of nail came out hot and hit my lip and burnt me up good. Oh, that was an ouchie. Happy Friday to you, huh? Look at that, another week gone by. Already, just like that. Seems like we were just getting started. Now the week's gone by again. Man, time is a moving. So how are you doing with all that? Are you enjoying it as it goes by or not? Listen, you can't be in two places at one time, right? You know that. You cannot be in two places at the same time. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Well, your emotional state can't be there either. Your mental state. You can't be in love and hate at the same time. You can't be in resentment and forgiveness at the same time. You can't be in faith and fear at the same time. You can't be in sorrow and happiness at the same time. You just can't do it. It's not, you know, there's one thought that you've got to choose and you got to roll with that. One way will bring you disease, dis-ease. The other way will bring you happiness, health, and healing. So pick one, man. Choose. Let me ask you this. Do you think you're hurting some other person because you hate them? Or because you're resentful at them? Do you think you're causing them any pain? Because I can tell you this, you ain't hurting them one bit. They're sleeping like a baby. And you, you're all churned up inside. Those feelings of hate and anger and resentment, it's eating you up, causing you disease. Stuff like that will give you diabetes, heart disease, cancer, all kinds of bad stuff. When your body is all messed up and tensed up because you're living in that, your body is building unhealthy cells, which in turn causes you to be sick. Think about it. Your body's rebuilding cells every second of every day. And they, they have memory, cellular memory. So if you're angry and you're resentful and you're hateful and you're full of fear and all that crap, your cells, your body's building unhealthy cells. It's building cells with that stuff in it. They're not normal. They're not healthy. They're not good. It's not going to be good for you. So let go of that crap. Get into the other side. Get into the happiness, the faith, forgiveness. Then your body's going to be building healthy cells. You're going to be building a healthier, a healthier you. You're going to just be working towards everything that's in your favor. You can't be in both places at once. And listen, if you're resentful and you're hateful and you're fearful and you're full of all that stuff with, about other people, then you're going to feel the same way about yourself. How can you love yourself if you're hating other people? How can you be happy with you if you're resentful at other people? You're going to be resenting yourself. For all kinds of things and hating yourself. And what good is that? That is no good. Listen, you, we're all checking out of here one day. How do you want to go out? Do you want to go out happy and healthy? With love in your heart and people around you that love you? Or you want to go out all alone full of hate and anger and resentment? Sick and withered up? I don't want to go out that way. I can tell you that. Life is short. I've been around this planet a few times as the sun's gone, as it's gone around the sun. I've been around that sun a number of times. And I can tell you what I've learned and what I've seen and what other people have told me. Man, it's a better way to go around just being happy and full of love and peace and forgiveness. There's more important things in this world than being all stressed out and angry and making all kind of money. And Can you eat your money? Can you drink your money? Will your money give you a hug when you're hurting? Listen, I, some of the richest people in the world have died unhappy. How would you have died of malnutrition? Malnutrition starved to death. And when he died, he was one of the richest men in the world. Something weren't right, man. Something weren't right in the upstairs attic. Get yourself right. Get right with you. Get right with the big guy upstairs. Just make peace with life. Be happy. Don't live. You know, it's your choice. You have two dominant. You can't be happy and you can't be angry at the same time. You can't be resentful and forgiveness at the same time. You can't. You can't be full of faith and full of fear at the same time. So pick one. Pick the good one. Pick happiness, faith, forgiveness. And I'll tell you, you're going to be a much happier, much calmer, and live a much better life. Hey, hope this helped you out. I hope you have a great day. See you Monday, chummy. Over.